again for another great YouTube live right here on the channel. And uh, if you guys were want to know, hey, what happened? What happened, Zach? Uh, I was just watching you, and you disappeared. Well, what happened was my phone just died. Okay, so I'm really sorry uh, about that, guys. So we're gonna have a, a real nice close uh, talk today. Look at that. We're right here together. And uh, Sunday questions and answers, guys. Is it time for you guys to come here on the channel, sell those flipping cars? Okay. And I'm Zachary, by the way. If you haven't watched an episode before, um, definitely check one out, guys. I'd, I'd love to uh, help you out on a project that you're actually working on yourself. So, <clears throat> this week I was actually supposed to release um, a Jeep transmission replacement video on the 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, with the 4.7 liter V8 engine in it. Okay, this is all-wheel drive. Well, it's a 4x4, not all-wheel drive. Totally different thing. And uh, if you want to know the difference, hey, send it in the comment section down below. Say, Zach, I want to know the difference between a 4x4 and all-wheel drive. I can do that. Okay, that'll be a fun video to uh, make. But sadly, that Jeep Grand Cherokee I was working on this week, uh, what I did was I actually tried to bring a couple people on to uh, help me put it back in. Because the unit, the transmission, and the transfer case on this Jeep is uh, over 400 pounds. Okay? And you want someone to stabilize the load okay yes you're supposed to use the support chain that comes with the transmission jack and i'm using that but i still like having an extra person there because if that thing wants to tilt and fall on you that's 400 something pounds of you know heavy metal that will uh it'll really hurt you so make sure anytime, guys, that you're doing these big jobs, the engine swaps that we're doing here on the channel, the transmission swaps, anything like that, you make sure you're safe, okay? Because those things are heavy and they can cause massive injury, okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so great news, great news. Uh, I did get the transmission back in and made it okay and i knocked that out just before the youtube live okay <clears throat> so i had to clean up my hands you know use the gojo uh before i jumped on here because who wants to look all dirty right that that makes no sense so since the transmission is now mated all we have to do is reconnect the transmission fluid lines the harnesses and go ahead and put the support braces back in for the transmission. Also, we got to uh, put the four flywheel bolts on. Okay. Those are always fun, but we'll go ahead and knock that out. That Jeep will actually be back up and going today. Okay. Uh, so be expecting that episode this week. My apologies uh, that it didn't come out this week. As you see, guys, from my phone dying on a YouTube live that T-Mobile, I'm going to talk to you very soon and I'm going to get a replacement phone. I love my phone guys. I, I absolutely love it. The camera on present day phones is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's so much easier just to talk with you guys when you leave a comment or a question on any of the videos. I answer all those myself. They come to my phone. So you can ask my wife, I'm telling y'all, I'll just be messaging right in the, the middle of, of dinner and be like, oh, hold on. Now, I'm my engine's not running correct, and the serpentine belt is worn. Hmm. And I'll, I'll go ahead and just solve it right there, because I love helping you guys out, and I love taking that headache away from your repairs. But, okay, so while, what I was telling you guys before my phone died... Uh, but, so, yesterday, I stopped by one of my uh, my friend's places of employment. Now, I'm not going to say the place of employment. It is a repair shop, okay? <clears throat> and this lady comes in and says, hey, I got my engine code uh, read at another shop. I, I got it read at, at Pet Boys, and they, they said I was having a, a misfire in Cylinder 6. And they're like, oh, okay. Um... They said I was having a, a oh, misfire so in cylinder six. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Um, 
Who sounds like this? Who sounds like that? No, Kim. No worries. All right, so I was there and I was just shooting the breeze with him, and the, the person came in saying she had a, a misfire in cylinder six. Okay, now this was a 2013 um, Ford vehicle. Now I'm not going to say the exact vehicle because you know a lot of people in this area actually watch the YouTube, but <clears throat> which I love it. Okay, but. The crazy part was they wanted to charge her $190 for coils. For the part alone, okay? Not replacing the coils, for the part alone. Then they're, you know, oh, we should replace, you know, do a fuel system. Well, that's $170, okay? Guys, remember, a fuel system clean can also be a bottle of seafoam, okay? We don't really know, uh, because unless you know what's going on in the shop, it could be anything, right? But a pure fuel system cleaner, you're talking about the injectors getting pulled out, cleaned. You're talking about all the fuel lines getting cleaned, the fuel tank, everything, guys. It's just crazy, all right? Yeah. You know, you know, Gonna leave this phone down here. All right, so now I have the uh, the chat back up. So if you guys have any questions, it'll bring it up for me. Although it should bring it up on the tablet too, but whatever. I'll see your questions. So, all right, so we're in for 180 for the coils, 170 uh, for the fuel system clean. Now, jeez, three, four, yeah. So we're looking at about 350 now. Okay. Now that's just on two things, but it doesn't even include the labor to replace the coils. <clears throat> labor was another like 350, 370, insane amount of money, right? So she came in for a misfire on cylinder six and actually got quoted. It was like $700. $700? Now, <clears throat> now I'm standing there. And I say, you know what, um, I'm just going to let you know all you need to do is replace that one coil. And she's like, no, no, that's not it. Pet Boys wouldn't, wouldn't just say replace them all. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. Because in the mechanic game, the more repairs that you need, the more uh, bonus that they get, the more they get paid, okay, uh, service riders, uh, shop managers, those got those people get bonuses when they have a good quarter, okay? A good physical quarter. I don't mean to go all business on you, but that is why they are charging that. So this lady needed one coil replaced. She already had all the plugs replaced. She needed one coil, and that's the way those corporate games go. That's the way those repair shops and dealerships are, and that's why... I have the channel, guys. That's why I do the Sunday automotive questions and answers because that's insane. That's insane. Why should I pull a loan to get my car fixed so I can go to my job and put food in my, my children's mouths, right? Guys, I've been a mechanic for over 20 years, so I, I've been in the game, right? And I hate it. That's why I got out. Right, I love doing this. I love helping you guys. I love saving you guys money because I got six kids. All right, if you got children, you're in the same boat as me. So, hey, let's help each other out. Right, ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, so this week, since last week, the phone died. Okay, and I got to call the uh, phone insurance and everything, have them send me a replacement. But we're still going to come out with more episodes this week, guys. So, don't worry about that. Uh, the uh, two episodes I was wanting to actually put out, and I'm looking at my list, guys, my apologies, um, is the, the three I was talking about last week. <clears throat> the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee transmission replacement. I'm going to put that out. Now, that's a $4,000 job, guys. Okay, a $4,000 job. I'm going to throw it right here on the channel, and it's free. See? Hey. Google, repair shops, Microsoft, right? I won't charge you for office. Don't worry about it. I got you. 
right. Uh, the other two I was wanting to release is um, how to complete a vehicle inspection before purchase, which is really big right now, especially with all those stimulus checks going out. People are wanting to replace their vehicles. And you know what? There is a lot of lemons out there, guys. A lot. You know, people are like, ah, ain't nothing wrong with it. And then you find out that, oh, there was something wrong with it. And someone didn't want to tell me. No, it's not what you want. You want to know what to look for. So be looking forward to that episode coming out this week. How to complete a vehicle inspection before purchase. By the way, guys, I'm just doing a channel update. If you have any questions on an automotive project, hey, hit it up in the comment section. Okay, leave it in the chat. I would love to answer it. I'm just giving you a channel update until you guys have any questions. So no worries there. Um, the other one is vehicle safety. Uh, that's the importance of vehicle safety. Yes, vehicle safety is very important. You can die in a vehicle. You can die working on a vehicle. You can, uh, you know, have a, a bit, very bad injury. Okay. A vehicle is, is not really a toy. I know we build them as toys, but when you're working on it, it's a tool, okay? Respect it because it will mess you up the first chance it gets, okay? It's like, <laughs> it reminds me of those snowboarding videos. Yo, bro, you snowboard? Yeah, I'll snowboard. Respect the mountain, bro. She'll take ya. You know? Hey, same thing with the car, okay? So vehicle safety, guys. Um... So I'm finishing up the Jeep today. Um, what is it? Got a couple of things, little, you know, little here and there things it, it needs. Uh, going to replace the tail light. That'll be for inspection. I'm going to take it for inspection first thing in the morning uh, here in Virginia. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out. That'll be good to go. Guys, if you ever wonder, okay, if you, <clears throat> if you pick up a vehicle, Okay, and you know the vehicle has problems with it. Let's be honest with each other. All vehicles, if you are buying it, even if it's from the dealership brand new, it's going to have problems with it. Okay, the first person to say, no, I won't. Okay, I'm sorry, you're lying to yourself. Okay, brand new vehicles have problems with them all the time. They're called recalls. Okay, and service bulletins, safety recalls, they're all over the place. You know, every manufacturer comes out with them. Some manufacturers don't even care about them, and they'll go around it anyways, Volkswagen. I don't want to say any names or anything, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. All right, so this week. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. All right, so we got the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're finishing up today. That thing's going to be gone out of our lives, so that'll be good. We're starting this week on the Nissan Xterra, okay? That one's going to be awesome. We picked it up because it was a no crank, no start. And Misha hates it when I do that. She's like, oh, one that doesn't start, you know? But people will sell them for like three, 400 bucks, you know? It doesn't start. Well, think about it when it comes to why a vehicle won't start, all right? Pretty basic. Does it have spark? Which, if it has spark, it means that it has uh, power in the battery. Okay. Uh, so if you deal with the battery, then you got to deal with fuel. D is it getting fuel? If it's getting fuel, then you're good there. All right. So it all, I'm going to make a video about it guys, because man, we can go about it all day, how to actually troubleshoot a no crank, no start. But why I love picking them up is I can pick up a no crank, no start for like 400 bucks and then sell it for 3000. You know, so I'm going to make that video and guess what, man, I know one of you guys out there is going to pick up a vehicle and you're going to hit me up in the comment section in the future and be like, Zach, you know what? You hooked me up, bro. You hooked me up. I sold the vehicle. I made $3,000 and I took, I took my spouse out for dinner. <laughs> Bet. Do it. I, hey. Me and my wife are due for a steak dinner soon. So, you know, I got to get one of these cars done so I can take her out <laughs> take her to steak dinner. She doesn't even like steak. I, I like steak, but, you know, uh, she'll eat steak. It's cool. Nah, seafood. All right. 
So we got the Nissan Xterra coming up. That one's really good shape. Just a no crank, no start. We already tested the battery, which if you want to know where to test the battery and you don't have a load tester, take it to Advanced Auto Parts, AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Those guys will charge it and do a load test on the battery for you for free. So uh, easy way right there. I also got the Nissan Quest coming up. Uh, 2014 Nissan Quest. It's going to be a full tune-up on that one. Uh, we are finishing the, um, well, no, that, that one is just straight up tune up serpentine belt, um, plugs, none of the coils have came up wrong. So we're all good there. Uh, right front wheel speed sensor. We're replacing that and yeah, oil change, you know, basic tune up stuff. So that one will be good to go. Um, so that is actually all this week, guys. So definitely be expecting those videos in the very, very near future. And um, I still have to finish up that pressure washer. I'm telling you, not phone messed up this week, man. Oh, I was like, yeah. To me, there's no purpose in actually doing the repair without being able to share it. Okay. Because <clears throat> I can repair stuff all day. You know, I can be fixing other people's cars and all that. And I don't want to do that. I, the reason why I have the channel is to fix stuff, uh, share the repair, and then, you know, share with you guys. I mean, that's that's the whole meaning of life right there to me. So uh, we got those coming out this week. The pressure washer. Yeah, I got to finish that up. Um, so not too bad. That one's actually just replacing the, uh, water pump that is on that. So looking forward to that one. Um, I did have a question, um, from actually one of my viewers. It was, what's the difference in between Chrome extensions and impact extensions? But then I thought about it as well. You also have torque sticks that can be mistaken for um, actual extensions. You know, because torque sticks are a little different than extensions. Torque sticks are meant for an impact uh, wrench. When you're using air tools, you can put the extension on the end of the impact wrench. And uh, put your socket on there. And then when you're tightening up your wheels using your um, impact wrench, of course, the phone just randomly turns back on. So, I hate that, don't you guys? Man. All right. So, when you have this torque stick on your impact wrench and your socket at the end of the torque stick, okay, torque sticks can actually... Um, be recognized by they are multiple different colors okay so you have chrome extensions which are your normal chrome you know 12 inch 6 inch 3 inch 2 inch extension then you have your impact extensions which are black matte okay they are a black matte color that's your impact extensions okay do not mistake those for torque sticks okay torque sticks look like extensions but they are red yellow blue green pink all different kinds of colors and each torque stick is a different color so you put that on your impact wrench and when you're tightening up let's say your wheels and you know with your air tool instead of over tightening which can strip out your uh, lug studs uh, it can also break those studs which is really fun to um Put a new lug stud into a, um, a, a hub. <clears throat> I had to think there for a second. A cow poop? No. <laughs> so if you break that, that lug stud off, then you got to pull the whole wheel off. So the great way to do that, especially if you're in a shop or you're dealing with a lot of vehicles, okay, is put a torque stick on there. And when you're tightening the wheel up, the torque stick will just shake like crazy, okay, when it actually hits that torque. 
Now, definitely double check with your manual what your uh, wheel lug nuts are supposed to be torqued down to. And don't think it's, oh, it's 150 foot pounds. Double check, okay? Some, I mean, a Honda is not going to be the same as an F350, okay? But you do not want to strip those lug studs out. If you strip one out or break it, you're going to look back on this video and be like, Zach, you were right, bro. Yeah, that was terrible. I hated it. So, <clears throat> oh, def definitely actually be looking at that. Um, I'm always actually looking at other episodes as well. I know someone hit me up and said that uh, they wanted me to do a blooper reel. What do you, what do you guys think? I, I see two viewers on here right now. And, uh, what do you guys think? Would you like to see a blooper reel as well? Wow. I think it'd be fun. I think it would be a great time um, because, you know what, man, mechanics make mistakes. And any any mechanic that says, yo, I don't make a mistake, you're a liar, okay? And I'm going to straight out call you, you're a liar, okay? We make mistakes all the time, okay? But you learn from those mistakes. And that's the whole part about, you know, making a mistake, you know? It's like having an accident. It was an accident. It's not like you meant to do it. Uh, you know, a mistake is an accident. Sometimes you make mistakes. Hey, you know what? I I didn't read the, the right torque spec. I torqued it to 70 foot-pounds instead of 45. Oh, my God, what will happen? Well, you need to back it off. That's what you need to do. Was it on, you know, a vital bolt? No, it was on a, lu a lug stud. Well, guess what? Those sometimes happen, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself, guys, okay? Guess what? Um was a great example great example when I, I was working up in canada as a heavy equipment mechanic for a while and uh me and my buddy in the shop we are checking out a towable um unit okay now on these towable units you have to check to make sure that the wire harness is working correct and if you add power to the unit you can actually check you know your turn signals your brake lights you know all this stuff but you have to hook up a energy unit to it first like a battery or you know whatever right <clears throat> so my buddy's at the front and i'm looking in the back i'm checking on these lights making sure everything's safe and i'm here i'm checking out the back looking at the right and the left okay and uh he He's, he's testing it with the multimeter. Just nothing. Nothing's nothing's happening. Now, remember, we've been here for about 14 hours because, you know, uh, I was a heavy equipment, a heavy equipment mechanic. And so uh, construction equipment takes a while. But so does automotive. Automotive takes a while, as you guys see in a lot of the repairs. Right? So it was a 14-hour day that day. And, uh, man, it was just working away. You've been lifting heavy stuff all day and just tired. All right, just tired. You gotta say it, Virginian. Tired. Okay? So he's checking the wire harness, and I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing, right? I don't see no lights. And he's like, I ain't got nothing either. I'm like, man. Yeah. I look over to the left, and guess what's sitting there? Guess what's sitting there? The battery. The energy unit you're supposed to hook up to test the actual lights. I'm like, man, of course you're not getting anything. The battery's right there, you know, 100 feet away from where it's supposed to be. But, guys, yeah, a little bit different in, in saying a mistake, but still a mistake, right? And people do that. You know, sometimes a job takes longer than it should because, guess what? You haven't done it before. You know, and that's fine. That's why you're actually checking out these step-by-step -step guides. You know, because let me do the mistake so you don't have to. All right? Let me take a long time on the job so you don't have to. You can be in and out and back to enjoying life, and you just saved yourself to $3,000. All right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right? So the crazy part about the, the transmission is every single bolt has been against me. Every single bolt. And now this truck's from New York, okay? Upstate New York, where they love salt in the wintertime. And uh, 
every single bolt was seized up on it. So I had to, I had to cut the exhaust manifold bolts off. The bell housing bolts came off clean. So that was nice. Um, harnesses, they've never been taken off. So unplugging them was a pure hassle. You know, so what I did is I sprayed it a little with some PB blaster, some penetrating oil, and then I was able to unplug it. I'm going to try to uh, put all this into the, the video uh, for you guys, you know, but you guys always know if you don't see something in the video and you have questions about it, I want you to leave it in the comment section down below. Okay. Every video I do, I leave the parts and tools that I used in the video description. I've also started adding chapters to all the videos. If you guys have noticed those, uh, some of them, uh, I think like the, the last four, I still have to do the uh, chapters on. But I try to add as much as I can in there for you guys. Also, I'm, I'm keeping up to date with the subtitles as well as much as possible. But I'm trying to do as much as I can to help you guys out with your repairs. Um, especially, you know, when it comes to, uh, subtitles, you know, can't really help you with the repair if your primary, you know, if you're, you know, yeah, primary language is not English, you know, so I want to, I want to help out with that. So, uh, all my videos have Spanish, French, and English subtitles. Um, you know, when, when I see a, a subtitle is actually, uh, highly needed on the channel, I go ahead and add that as well. So... <clears throat> Um, I definitely be checking out for those videos this week coming up. Uh, I'm looking forward to making those for you guys. Uh, I will be actually spending some good time on it. Um, I do plan on switching my editing, uh, software that I'm using back to a computer base away from the phone. Uh, hoping it will actually bring even more quality to the videos for you guys. Um, right now, it's been about six hours of video uh, editing. Uh, hopefully, the computer won't add to that. It'll hopefully take some of that time away. But, guys, uh, does anyone have any automotive questions today? Or any questions? Any questions at all? You know, uh, I'll definitely log on here to give you guys the channel update uh, every week and, you know, answer any automotive questions you guys have. Uh, I am still doing uh, some, uh, well, Misha and I are doing more research on the uh, budget-friendly tools um, that we're looking for the website. Uh, we'll, we are also, um, what is it? Oh, we we found uh, new suppliers for the merchandise on the website and um, just all the, the clothes and um, merchandise that we have. Uh, we found a better supplier. So that would it makes me feel good because I'm going to make a uh, cool coat for myself to go to a car show. Yeah. I told Misha, it's got to be one of those North Face ones, you know, so you're nice all bundled up. Like, Because you guys ever been to a car show, man, you'd be there for hours. And sometimes Mother Nature just isn't on your side. Mother Nature don't care if you want to see that sexy Bel Air. Nope. Don't. It'll start raining. <laughs> it's like, what? Why? Why? I've been waiting four months. That was the crazy thing about last year. There were some actually really cool car shows and uh, auto meets happening here in Virginia. There was one called Hyperfest, which was uh, going to have some racing there and car show, and concerts. And so I'm kind of looking forward to that one coming back to town. That'll be really, that'll be really cool. So, um, guys, that's pretty much it today. I got... The uh, the Jeep I'm going to finish up today, the Xterra, uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up that battery for that one and do further testing. I'll go ahead and bring you guys along on that one, and uh, we'll go ahead and start working on that, that new no crank, no start video as well. Because, man, if you could just remember the basics of an internal combustion engine... You're good to go. 
You know, because that's what a lot of people, even mechanics, look over. They forget all about their basics when it comes down to the end. Okay? So we're going to make a video on that. Help you guys out. It's going to be set, um, you know, for all you uh, DIYers out there that, you know, want to challenge yourself to a, a nice little project. Well, it'll help you with your project as well. So that will be awesome. So, yeah, definitely be looking for the Jeep video, uh, the vehicle inspection, and the vehicle safety videos coming out this week, guys. And if you have any questions outside of any of the videos or YouTube lives, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to answer them. I love helping you guys out. So, thank you so much again, guys, for checking out another YouTube live right here on the channel. And, uh, hey, if you guys do have any questions... Don't forget, leave them in the comment section, and until next time, hey, keep on wrenching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.